News now. Situation in Maharashtra remains tense after violence erupted last night in Pune and Solapur. Now, the protest broke out at Chakka near the Nasik Pune Highway. 16 vehicles were set ablaze and 25 vehicles were vandalized by the mob. The Pune Nasik Highway was shut for several hours, but the situation has been normalized. Protesters also attacked the Chakka police station, injuring four policemen. Section 144 has been imposed in several parts of Pune. While not just this, even in Solapur, incidents of stone pelting were reported. The entire region remained shut on account of a bund that had been called, but the situation has now been brought under control. Richa now joins me on the phone line with further updates on this present situation that we're looking at as far as the Maratha community agitation is concerned. Richa, we have seen this agitation in the past. We are seeing after a brief lull, there has been sporadic protests taking place at different parts of the state. What is the current situation on ground? At this point, Apurva, the situation remains uh, tense but calm. It is much better than what it was yesterday. As we saw how in Chakan, Pune, there were several such incidences of violence that were reported. Several buses were burnt down. Even fire brigade and police vans were also, in fact, vandalized and burned down by the protesters. Uh, Section 144 was, in fact, revoked yesterday evening itself after uh, after the local district magistrate, magistrate saw the situation and uh, took this decision. Uh, while in the other parts of Aurangabad and Solapur as well, the situation has slowly but steadily brought back to normal. But yesterday there was a meeting that took place in Aurangabad where the, the Maratha Kranzi Morcha have given a 24-hour okay. deadline to the state government officials to take some step. Otherwise, they would again go out on streets and protest. So this whole agitation and protest does not seem to be ending anytime soon. But this entire uh, agitation is also coming up even after the Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis has reiterated that his government's commitment to the reservation for Marathas. Do you think that these, uh, these assurances coming in from the state government are really not very helpful uh, in the entire protest that is now coming about? Yes, certainly. In fact, the communication that the uh, state government officials are having with the Maratha Granthi Morja is not helping out on the ground level. Because uh, what is reflected on ground is that the people okay. are still agitated. They are still going out on street in protest. In fact, yesterday we saw how another person in Aurangabad uh, lost his life after committing suicide, after hanging himself. And a similar incident was also reported from Nanded. So these sporadic incidences have even further instigated the people on ground to in fact go ahead and uh, take such drastic steps of protests that are happening across the state. And till the time we see some kind of action being taken by the state government, we, w we won't be able to see this calmness getting okay. back because this is yet again repeating itself again, again, again and again. Absolutely, Richa. After a brief lull, various Maratha outfits have once again looked to spark their agitation for reservation into life with several protests taking place uh, in various parts of Maharashtra. Many thanks, Richa, for getting us those details.